Hey homos! Welcome back to our channel! And welcome back to Happy Helpful... No. Mm. And welcome back to Helpful Homos. Yeah. That's our series where we give you solicited advice because you've asked for it. Yeah. Um, we're, we're being homo and helpful at the same time. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we have a letter today. Shock. We have a letter every time we do one of these. Uh, from one of you guys. And if you want to get in touch and you want your letter answered, then email us hello at happyhealthyhomo.com and we would love to give you our solicited advice. Yeah. And if you want to get involved with the Happy Healthy Homo community a little bit more, you can check out our Patreon links below. Yeah. We've got a few tiers. So yeah. not these kind of tiers. <laughs> uh, these tiers. Yeah. Yeah. So check that out. The link will be down below. And let's crack straight in. How come you always to get to read the short ones and you give me the really long ones? Because I like to see you stumble. Oh, that's healthy. Yeah. And help and happy. This letter says, Hello from the US. No need to make an episode on this, but if you can if you want. <laughs> Thank you. <We> um, <laughs> I'm 23 and I've dated women my whole life. Two different relationships, the second one just ending in September. I've always had feelings that I'm gay, but now that I'm in the position to live that way, how do I tell if I love my ex? because she's a woman or if I just miss her because she was my best friend and I'm scared to do something new. Thanks in advance for your time and I hope you have a great day. Okay. Good question. Good question. I mean, you're in a really good place to answer this because you were married to a woman and as you've said before on this channel, your feelings were legit for her. Mm. It's just that you were also gay. So how did you deal with that? Because I'm sure you must have had an element of going, oh, I do love her but I think I'm gay, how can I, you know, how do I sort this out? Because you feel like those two things aren't compatible. Well, I think everything's relative, right? Mm -hmm. So problems are relative and love is relative. Mm -hmm. So at that point in my life, so from my experience, I obviously got married. I was in a relationship with my ex-wife for like eight years. Um, and I, I did love her. Mm -hmm. I absolutely did. You know, we got married and I've spoke about it before. And I, I did, I did love her to my best understanding of what love was. Mm -hmm. Obviously, being a gay man, it's difficult. It's not difficult. It, the love that I felt for my ex-wife is very different to, you know, say the love that I feel for you, mm -hmm. which feels a more complete kind of love. But I definitely loved her. I, I suppose this is where people fall into the territory of, did you love them or are you in love with them? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe maybe that's a more appropriate description of it, that I loved her, but I wasn't in love with her. But mm -hmm. I felt like I was at the time. Yeah. And when we started seeing each other, there was all the excitement of what you would get in a new relationship. Mm -hmm. Not that that's love, but... I feel you had the thrill of it. Yeah, it still went through all the same... The same process of a relationship. Yeah. It wasn't the, like what some people, maybe I would assume as someone who hasn't... But it's you know, just like know. dead from yeah, the outset. It's just like you're, you're lying from the get-go. You no. know you don't have any feelings in here, but yeah, you I'm do. Absolutely not. And, you know, two things... Two things can be different and true at the same things time. Things don't exist in isolation, do they? Yeah, Joe <laughs> love quoting myself. Joe loves quoting me at me. Um, two things can be true at the same time and mm -hmm. also be different. I loved my ex-wife and I love you. Mm. Is the love the same? No. But we experience that throughout our lives often anyway. Like we yeah. love our parents different to how we love our partners how we different to how i love my yeah. kids so how do you separate that then for with this person i suppose they're saying what am i feeling right now is it just that we're freshly broken up and that i care about her as a human being or i'm scared of change or is it because i actually love her and i i should be with her even though i'm gay i should still be in a relationship well, with her? well who can tell you nobody can tell you whether you love that person or not you mm. get to decide what love is for you yeah, I, no two people can can compare notes because you can't ever get inside somebody else's head. So, however you want to label it, is is your prerogative. Also, I feel like it's possible for you to love her but not be sexually attracted to her. And now, having experienced being in love with a man, I can look back. For me, that was like an incomplete love, but it was still love. Yeah, I would. St I would still absolutely say that I 
loved my ex-wife, mm. 100%. Mm-hmm. Is it the same as this? No. But it doesn't mean that it wasn't love. No. That's how I choose to label it. Now, someone might say, well, you can't have loved them. And that's that's their prerogative. Mm. But for me, I, I know at that moment in time, that was what I thought love, love, love was. And when I look back on it, mm. I'm still more than happy to say that I was in love with my ex-wife. Yeah. Even though the love that I experience now with you mm. is completely different to that. Yeah. But we experience different kinds of love all over. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, it's a very short email and we're only going off of what we know from what you've told us. So there might be way more to it. I also think as well, just to put another example on it that everybody experiences. Everybody had a boyfriend or girlfriend at school, whether you were gay or straight and whether Mm -hmm. you were able to have it with the same sex or a different sex. And you went through something and, you know, kids do that and they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend when they're nine, ten years old, whatever. Mm. And they might say that they love them. That's true to them in that moment. And yeah. it's really easy for an adult to say, well, that's not that's not love and that's not what mm. love is. There are obviously various, you know, someone who's 60 years old who's gone through something, who's supported their partner through cancer and gone for, we've gone through job breakups we've done long distance we've moved and then the, you can kind of poo poo someone else's mm. relationship and say well you've not gone through that so this is what real love is yeah but if someone's not gone through an experience then they, they can't experience in it and something no. can be true according to their ex, to their lived experience at that moment in time that doesn't yeah. mean that it's set like that forever and i think that's really important to remember mm-hmm. just because you've feel a particular way and you label something as love it can be love you might also decide later on oh no it wasn't love like yeah. there's been many people that I've looked back and gone I think I'm in love with that person and then actually it's just lust mm. yeah. or it's you know so like that that happens as well so well you guys we'd love to hear your opinion down in the comments below so leave us a comment with your advice for let's call him Morris we forgot to give him a name so Okay. Yeah, and if you want to get in touch and you want us to waffle at you, then please send them into hello at happy helpful. No. He- please send them into hello at happy healthy homo dot com. You'd yeah. think I'd have that figured out. Yeah. I know. But he doesn't. Don't forget to tune in to our main podcast episodes. They're out every single Wednesday. If you'd like some you know bonus content from us, then consider becoming a patron on patreon.com. Uh, the link will be down below. You can get different... Patreon. Well, they call them patrons on Patreon. Oh, okay. It's the lingo, babe. I'm not down with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so check it, check that out. You can also get yourself a free Happy Healthy Homo mug. Yeah, and if you want to be on the podcast, then check out our socials and mm-hmm. you'll be able to see what we're recording and what questions we want you to video yourself to send in asking. Please don't write yeah. them in. Yes. Um, But yeah, we look forward to hearing from you. Hope you've enjoyed this episode and we'll chat to you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.